Okay, so a few months ago, I was doing a drawing and not a few months, literally like a month ago, like in October, I was doing a drawing and I really liked the way it turned out, but I would started doing a different art style because of course I did. And I was like, huh, I wonder how this drawing would look in this art style. Anyhow, so I edited her face and now I'm going in with painting it. And at this point I'm thinking, oh, wow, this is a mistake. I hate this so much. It's, 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 it, it exists. It certainly exists. So then I go in with um pink on the cheeks, blue on the chin, yellow on the forehead. I don't know if I keep that, but it'll it'll all work it'll all work out in the end. So then here I go through a phase where I change her haircut eight times, and you can't see this here, but in Procreate I have like eight different versions of this drawing with different haircuts around this phase. It's just. Good. I need to free up storage by deleting those. Here we have weird sideburns, and I feel like there's always a kid in elementary school with this haircut. Like, you know, like the weird- it's it's not like a bowl cut. It's like a bowl cut that's like a little too long and a little too sleep disheveled. Anyhow, oh, also, uh, in case my audio sounds kind of funky, as it usually does, it's because if I want good audio quality, I'll record this underneath the blanket, but I'm lazy. So we are doing this in the corner of my room where it's very, very echoey. So <laughs> we'll make do. And now we start the series of me trying to do her eyebrows like 80 times. This, this will not be the final eyebrow, nor is it the second to final eyebrow. So I'm readjusting her lips. I get this really cute pucker thingy. Although I, I'm looking back on this, I kind of like this. This is a nice drawing, but I, when I, when I did it earlier, I hated it. So chop it off start again <laughs> so now i'm starting trying to do it without making it so um symmetrical and then i went back to the original haircut wow <laughs> it's it's just a giant circle so later on i don't know when but eventually i'll decide to work on her bangs which smart decision very smart decision i am now working on the eyebrows once again I, I don't even know when I figure out her. I figure out her eyebrows on a completely different layer. It's not even in this recording, I think. I think I just end up copy-pasting it from a different layer, from a different painting. Anywho. So, we're almost done with the orange background, with, like, the blocking colors with the orange background. Hey, we finally hit blue. Okay, so, now I'm making her bangs uneven. Because the thing with this is I kind of figured out it's a little, it was a little too symmetrical. And... It needed some asymmetry to break it up, which I did with her hair, subtly, subtly, and the lighting. So I added a, like, orangey thing on top that was, like, the same cutout as her outline from before. It basically, I took her silhouette and I placed it on top of the drawing, like, below her hair, above her skin, and I multiplied it. So that way it's adding a shadow on top, and eventually I'll change it to blue. And then I was like, oh, well, I'll add, like, some, like, random pieces of light everywhere. I hated that. Oh, yeah, got it to purple. We'll get more blue later. And then I go back to chiseling the hair with a chisel, as I do. And um, I'm just currently color dropping her hair from her other drawing. I, c I tried to get her skin tone to be like it was in the original, but then I got lost trying to figure out how to do that with the amount of multi-layer clipping masks I did. Multiply clipping masks. Anyway, so we ended up with whatever skin tone I end up at the end. And for the hair, I'm just doing my usual technique where I go either color drop or in the case I'm doing right here. Half the time, I'm just slowly making it more pastel and less saturated to go brighter and more saturated, more dark in order to... Uh, Oh gosh, words. In order to... Pastel, saturated, for darker colors. There we go. By the way, I'm doing this all in one take, non-scripted. Not because I'm an iconic queen, which I am, but because I'm lazy. Hey, we hit blue? Blue is purple. Does it get more blue? I think this might be it. Oh, I also did something I've never done before where I add the shadow coming from her bangs. Which I really like the way that turned out too. Oh my gosh, it her lips took me so long to figure out. Are these, are, these aren't her final eyebrows. The, the eyebrow saga will continue. So here I, I did the sky from the last painting, um, which 
I got them really similar. I got them really similar. And here I am readjusting her skin tones with and her hair with like the little multiply effect thingies. I don't even know what they're called. You see, the thing with me is I've never taken an art class and especially not a digital art class. Well, actually, wait, I took a digital art class. It's just, it wasn't for Procreate. So I didn't really, I don't know what a lot of these things are called. I took a Photoshop class in which I used Procreate for everything and just kind of winged it. But yeah. Um, and I don't know when, but there's this technique I'm going to try out in a bit where, oh, hey, hey, I could sense it. I could feel, I, I like, like a sixth sense sensing when I was going to do this. I had orange around the, uh, on the multiply layer, which I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. I just couldn't figure out how for the life of me, but I think I figured it out. You add, you, you multiply it right in, on a blue layer and then you lock, like you do an alpha lock on that layer and then you put orange on top of that. And that's how you get that perfect orange glow around the skin. It only took me several years. <laughs> it only took me several years to figure out how to do something in a extremely difficult skill. Anywho, not extremely difficult. Mm, I would say art is a mid-tier difficulty skill. Playing the, like, I, uh, I guess it depends on the medium. Uh, if it is, like, physical art, that is a high medium difficulty. Digital art, medium difficulty, because you have to, like, know what you're doing. You just don't have to mess around with paintbrushes and all that whatnot. And then, like, music, depending on the instrument, high level difficulty. Dancing, extremes. Anyway, I didn't get sidetracked at all. What are you talking about? Oh, wow. I completely talked over the entirety of her eyes. I, I, ugh. I talked over the entirety of me drawing her eyes. I'm on a spinny, che a spinny chair right cheer. I'm on a spinny chair right now. So I'm just kind of spinning around while, while I'm, I'm barely even watching my own, my own art video. <laughs> Anywho, so here I am working on her lips again. Oh gosh, I like did this uh, during a car ride last night. Drawing in a car is not the vibe. Like my hand was jittering the entire time. Ooh, are these the eyebrows? I think, I think those might be it. Oh, ah, I think those are the eyebrows I went with. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, I'm working on her neck. I, okay, fun fact about me. I don't know how to draw color, color, but color. I don't know how to draw collarbones. For the life of me, I struggle with them so much. I don't know why they're so hard. Like, I feel like if I wanted to, I could take the time to do like an artistic study on how to draw collarbones, but I'm lazy. So like, I've, no. Ooh, and then I added extra eyelashes to her eyes. And that looks so pretty. And that's my brother sneezing in the background. I don't know if you, here's the thing. I can't tell what you guys can tell picks up on my audio until I re-listen -re to it. And let's be honest here. I never re-listen to my audio. So like, you'll either hear him sees or you won't. Anywho. So, oh my goodness. This drawing took so long. Also, it's like, so, there's so many layers and so much stuff going on here that you can't even see the full thing on the video, which means maybe I should make my canvas size a smaller. Oh, but it's so nice. Ah, the struggle. Anyhow, um, and now I'm doing, what is that even called? Like the lip shadow? I'm drawing her lip shadow, which defines the chin, but I didn't make it dark enough, I don't think. And then I was trying to see, hey, what if I make her eyes go to the side so she's like not looking at into your soul, you know? But I decided to make her look into your soul because like, She's judging you. Anyway, so we've reached the collarbones, which I cannot draw. Um, <laughs> so much struggle. Ah, I think, oh gosh, there's just a lot happening with those collarbones. I think they were nice about 10 seconds ago, and then I just kept going. And I went straight past the nice one. Ah. Oh, I also blended out the um, area with the orange, which I also forgot to narrate. I'm such a good narrator, I know. Anywho. I can't even tell. Oh, ah, I think we're almost done. <gasps> so now I'm working on her shirt. I'm going to change the lighting in the background and I'm going to blah, 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 blah. Just change all the lighting and whatnot. And then we're done. Yay. I made it a darker color. That way this color palette is orange, uh, blue, and yellow. And uh, it's the trifecta. 
Anywho, I hope you guys are having a great day. Please tell me if you do or if you are not. Anywho, like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Oh, I, I give it a little like thingy in the background. Anyway, goodbye.